Hi, I'm Jennifer Weibert. I'm the owner of Weibert Science. Thanks for joining me today. What I have here is a quick overview of Phenomenal Science Notebooks and how they really maximize student processing. Let's take a look. Not all science notebooks are the same. I've been notebooking for 23 years and I train teachers really all over the world in how to notebook in science better, among other things. I often ask teachers, hey, do you notebook? And I'll get a response of, yes, I do. And most of that means I go to teachers, pay teachers, I download a worksheet, um, everyone glues the worksheet in, and we all have the same thing happening in our notebooks where we just fill in some blanks, or we put in some doodle notes and we just color um, for no real purpose or meaning. Then I have people who say, I don't notebook at all, they failed me. And I hear you on all of these things. And um, I have been notebooking in such a way where after a year or two of teaching, I realized I didn't want worksheets and I wanted to really see what was in kids' heads and get that out on paper. And so that's why I have created Phenomenal, phenomenal Science Notebooks. They're really student-centered. Um, it's all about the student, not what's best for me as the teacher, because it's just easier for me to make packets. It's really about what's best for the student, but at the same time, getting these strategies down so they streamline what I do and they actually make my life a whole lot easier than doing packets and worksheets or digital notebooks, which that could do a whole other topic. I'm, I'm not a fan of digital notebooks at all. Um, uh, they just don't help so well with learning and research is out there supporting that. You could take a look over at my Padlet on that. Um, I, hardly anything's glued in. I do believe some things should get glued into a notebook. Um, complex drawings should be glued in. Sometimes tables, graphs, charts could be glued in. Um, but the whole goal is I want kids to create ownership and do the work and really know the science. Okay. And I'm really flexible on input output flexibility. Um, I'm not a strict left hand, right hand side. Um, sometimes a two page spread is needed. So let's take a quick look at what this is. Uh, here's a good example from seventh grade using Amplify curriculum. And I just want you to get a look at what things are here. These are some things I teach with the anchor phenomenon page, a summary table. This is a big idea page. And then we get into lessons. And if you can see, there's some structure on the page. Oh, it's buffering. Here we go. And you can also see that there's color picture text on most pages. Now, remind you, this is a seventh grader, and this is just an average notebook. It's not like the best notebook out there. Um, when teachers come to see me, they will bring 15, 20 notebooks as examples, and they all look like this. So it's really possible to get this going where all kids succeed for you. Moving forward here, um, this is some high school bio. And we see the same thing here, right? I don't ever give kids blank pages. It's color, picture, text with a template. So let's take a quick look at what that means because it's scary for kids to get a blank page. You're like, I have to put notes on here. I really don't know what she means. I'm going to either leave it blank or I'm just going to put some stuff down and hope that makes it when we know they know more. So let's take a quick look at what a sketch note is. And I do a full training on this in my all access training. Um, but we have a template. You can see here there's a structure. We have color, we have pictures, and we have text. Okay. Um, if I know that this helps move information from short term memory to long term memory, every page inquires uh, has sketch notes in it. I have to sketch note on every page. And then templates is amazing too. It's the answer to everything of how do you get kids to structure their work. Um, I have to teach them how to set up the space and use the space in a meaningful way. And I also train on how to create your own templates to match your curriculum. I do have some templates that are uh, generic that can be used often, but I also want to give you the freedom to create on your own as well and make it match your style of teaching and your curriculum. And I train that in my all access package as well. So look at this great two page spread of what a phenomenal science notebook is right? This is great work. This is um, the same content being hit a few times over several days through lecture notes, through whiteboarding with an article and some individual thinking with questions and a Venn diagram. And then what really sets my notebooking apart is putting it all together is with um, unit design. 
I really believe we should bookend our units to capture what NGSS is all about. And even if you're not NGSS, it's just good science teaching. Um, do you start with that anchor phenomenon? Is it on paper where kids can really see this is where I started my learning? This is where I finished my learning. Um, do you have them work with big ideas? Do you have them create a summary table to show their learning change over time? And do you end your units with the summative task that really puts it all together where kids actually apply, which is usually really big on state tests. So we're getting them prepped for that. So I train you on how to set all these up and how to run them in your units. And it's just a great place to be. So I really hope you can join me this summer. I have my all access summer training happening right now. I mail you this fantastic workbook. We're going to work through it together. I'm actually on live 12 hours this summer that you can join me at any time. And then also those are recorded. So it's on demand training as well. Join me live, get your questions met, meet my expert teachers. It's a whole package that I think is just really phenomenal and you can't really find it anywhere else to grow your teaching and try something new. So I hope you join me.